so we have reached the final season of The Walking Dead. Hasn't really hit me yet. It doesn't feel like it's going to end. That's going to change, I think, in the last eight or so episodes. Right now, it's still a long way off. It is the last ever season premiere of The Walking Dead, though. Um, and I'm excited for it. I think this season, they need to go all out. Just go all out, give them all the budget you can in the world, and just have a phenomenal, action-packed, crazy season. Now, I haven't been looking up anything to do with The Walking Dead going into this season. It's the least I've known ever going into a Walking Dead season. Like, I usually watch the trailer a bunch of times. I've only seen it once. Um, I haven't been reading up anything about cast news. I thought it's the final season. I'm just going to go into it without knowing much at all. Just, just surprise me. Knowing a lot about the comic, that's... That's enough for me. I'm looking forward to seeing the Commonwealth going into this season. I'm looking forward to seeing what all this stuff with the Reapers is about. I know they're in the trailer and they look pretty creepy. All the masks and shit, so they're going to be a big problem. I mean, we've just dealt with the Whisperers. Are they going to jump straight into these Reapers? And what's going to make them different? There is one thing I caught in the trailer, right? It seemed like there were these survivors that were crawling. They look like walkers, but they're not. It's really strange. Um... I'm looking forward to seeing what that's about. I'm guessing it's to do with the Reapers, but we will see. That's all I really have to say going into this one. I am excited and it feels like it's been forever since I reacted to The Walking Dead. I guess it's because of the breaks in between with season 10. So here we are. This is season 11, episode 1 of The Walking Dead. Let's get into it. Tom, sweet home. Yeah. It is. This Maggie and Negan stuff is going to be intense. And that's the shot we start off with. For the final ever season premiere of The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. Well, we're on a mission here. Getting straight into it. Fort Connor's military base. Holy shit. All those bodies. That walker is weak as fuck. And back to sleep you go. I instantly think back to Herschel in season 3 in the prison when he got bit on the leg. Don't want another situation like that. You can't afford that in this room. Oh fuck. Don't wake the walkers. MRE. Right, because what the Whisperers did to Alexandria, the crops and stuff are all fucked, so they're going to need food. This is going too well. It's not staying this way. There's no way it's staying this way. I'd be very surprised if this goes to plan without any walkers waking up or any problems. Of course it's going to snap, for fuck's sake. Alright, nice one, Daryl. That was an interesting shot. It just had to go on the walker's face. You give him a taste of blood. What did I say? Wasn't gonna stay the way it was. Ooh, the bone's cracking. Right, you need to get out of there. Now. They might have this, the walkers, they are weak. These walkers are very weak. Oh, I see that walker creeping up on Maggie. That accuracy though. Damn, his whole face exploded. Oh, Cabot wanted to pick up that assault rifle earlier and now she got it. I'll be afraid of shooting a grenade though, that's in her pocket. That's happened in something, I forgot what I seen. But yeah, I'll be afraid of shooting a bomb. Is Carol the only one down here now? Okay, let's go, Carol. And she sees one more box. She's gonna go for it. Well, I ain't afraid for her in this scene. Or this season, rather. You know why? She has a spin-off coming with Daryl. They could surprise you and have them get bit on the arm or something. Have a limb amputated. Okay, props to Carol. Taking that risk. And they still ain't saying a word. Let's be real, you would be like, man, that was close. The quietest start to a the episode ever. Here's the last intro. Dog is now here. Dog made his way to the intro. That's still the best shot for me, the bridge. Unless they've got something else coming. Oh, the Commonwealth. Perfect. So they added Dog and the Commonwealth. There's probably other things I've missed in that intro. 
Alexandria is looking rough. Whispers really fucked this place up. <laughs> There's Dog. There's Judith and RJ giving Uncle Daryl a hug. Look at the size of that guy! It's like you're taking him out of fucking Gears of War. He's huge. Yep, yeah, that's him. That's the guy who killed Maggie's husband. An empty stomach. Our people are good hunters. Frost and I could take a group out. The ground's all spent. That last big horde and scared all the animals away. I was thinking that that was probably tried already. Alright, so what's the plan? Meridian. It's got plenty of food, water, crops, and animals. Yeah, now it's gone. And that's where the Reapers are, right? The people that attacked us, we only knew two things about them. They come at night, and by the time you see them, you're already dead. Well, that ain't good. That was before we caught one. Daryl was with me. He came after us alone. Yeah, he said Pope Why? marked you. We just need to take it back. It's very risky. What other choice do you have? If they slaughtered everyone once, what the hell makes this situation any different? Duncan, Agatha, and Frost are Meridian's best fighters, and now I have them. And hopefully some of you too. Maggie, this sounds like a suicide mission. Like I said, what else can you do? You don't have food. It's not going to matter anyway. Exactly. You've just dealt with the Whisperers. Now you've got to deal with Reapers. <laughs> Rosita's not feeling this. Neither is Aaron. And Carol. She ain't feeling it either. I hate that they brought Dog with them. Couldn't they just leave my Alexandria off screen safe? I mean, I get it, he follows Dabble, but I do not want Dog to die. I'm liking this so far, all these different locations. It's really cool. You don't want to go in there? No, I don't. You give a shit. Which way? <laughs> hey, can I talk to you? What is that? We're buddies or something? Everyone's against Negan, all barging past him. I don't think you should be doing that. I get Maggie and Daryl because of the history, especially Maggie. But everyone else, it's like you don't want to be having all that tension down in a tunnel like this. You're, you're in a dark tunnel of death. There is a God, you'll have to beg for forgiveness. And that caught Gabriel's eye. Yeah, what was that? The storm's pushing air through the pipes, making him groan. Nothing serious, we're good. Holden coming in, reassuring us. You legend. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. You know what that noise actually is? That is God telling us to turn around. I'm pretty sure he would have ran that past me first. Well, does the good Lord direct your one eyeball to this? Waterline mark. Neekin's been observant, Bad okay. Down. There's up there. You trying to run shit? Keep moving. But basically, Negan just... Go help him, but shut your mouth. They really ain't having anything from Negan, are they? No, anything he says, they're trying to dismiss. I cannot wait to see more of the Commonwealth. Mercer. It honestly just feels like you've ju you've dragged him out of the comic, thrown him into the show. The accuracy with that casting is incredible. If you pass inspection, you'll move to level two. How many levels are there? I know a lot about these characters, a lot of... What was your zip code? Information before the apocalypse. Be expected to remember that. It was 75001. From 1984. Of course Eugene remembers his zip codes. When we're done with these questions, can I get my two dollars back? <laughs> have you ever been arrested? How many bowel movements do you have a day? Excuse me? And um, what? What do you use to wipe? Pass. Huh? Why they really just asked what they wipe their ass with? Do you consider yourself a fundamentally honest person? Yes. Of course. Yes. Hell yeah. Did your mother work yes, 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 home? hell yeah. I told you. Yeah, I do. So many questions. Are you in charge? This is a cool interaction. We didn't get this in the comics, sadly. So seeing it here is really cool. Asshole beat cop. That's why this fascist crap comes so easy to you. Look at you. All they had to do was give you a pumpkin colored spacesuit. <laughs> You back to power tripping with your head up your own ass just like before. 
Damn. The girl's some power. You've been asking us the same damn questions over and over for seven hours. Seven hours like, of questions. Fuck that. Oh dear. I mean, they're gonna have a place here, right? A hospital that can treat us equal. Surely. It needs more than a glass of water, mate. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that interaction there. Maybe we'll see more of that. Who knows? So they want these guys rolling up the hilltop of Alexandria with their machine gun swords. They don't even know hilltops down. That feels like it was so long ago. I forgot they don't know about that. Excuse me. How long you've been here? Four, four months. Nine. It's been nine, remember? Right. Yeah. Reprocess. Yeah, Eugene's gonna change his mind after that. Okay, gotta go. They body bags? What the actual fuck? Damn. Now we we'll don't open it. What are you doing? Why didn't you make any noise? Huh. A very quiet walker. Throat slashed so deep it almost severed his head. All of them? What? We are walking through a mass grave that could still be in use. So I am asking you, are you sure all of them were killed during the fall? There's something Maggie knows. What? Maggie, hold up. Not stop it. Holden just said hold up and you're telling me you're not stopping? You're going to disrespect Holden like that? That walker. Oh my god. Reminds me of the world walker from season two. Is no one going to help him? What are you all doing? Just standing there. Jesus. Oh, okay. They are just standing there. We don't know if this tunnel even has a way out. Whoever or whatever <laughs> killed these rot bags could still be down here. Has that thought crossed anyone's mind? I am out. Me too. What? He, he's a dick, but he makes sense. That's true. He is making sense. It ain't up to you. If we get through this, I'm not coming back. She'll find a way, she'll find a reason, she'll do it herself. Okay, Megan's caught on to what she was doing. Man, I really thought you were in on it. Me dying on your terms. It ain't happening. So what do you say? That bit of soundtrack is from the lineup. Because I am not gonna let you drag me through the mud, filth, and slime to put me down like a dog, like Glenn was. Oh come on, man! Why you got mentioned Glenn? That was silly. The woman who lived six years ago is not the one standing over you now. Well, your hair's a bit longer, but it's a little bit. So keep pushing me, Megan. Please. I don't see how this is gonna last. I thought it, the tension will get. Things get worse between Maggie and Negan as the season goes on, but it seems like it's already at breaking point. What are you looking at? Vivids and Zell are at it again. What? You know their names? Yeah. You can tell them apart. You can? Okay, we'll waste Vivids and Zell are having sex, but they don't want anyone to know. Okay. The other one disappears too. Gone for about an hour, my home at home. Probably most of the time is fed taking off their armor. Well, thanks to Princess, they're gonna escape. Oh my god, that poor guy has Mercer staring over him. Who are we gonna see? The War of the Lost. So, Yumiko is the one that has someone, has a fan, well, has a sibling at the Commonwealth. She ain't gonna want to go now. I have to stay. Has anyone seen them? We took our supplies. Oh shit, Gage and Roy dipped. Oh come on, can this get any fucking worse? Well Gage and Roy, they haven't survived. No way, unless there's a tunnel that we haven't seen off screen, but yeah, I doubt it. 
Get um Duncan to knock the door down. Oh shit. Where's Doug? Oh here we are. Okay, if he can't get in, there's no way you're getting in it. That door's it's locked. It's not opening. Well at least dog ran off. I'll be claustrophobic as hell going under there, but it's going off the dog. And now what? You've left Negan with Maggie. Oh shit. Negan? He ain't gonna help her. Well, he knows that she's bringing him out there to kill him. Why would he help her? Oh fuck. Okay, so you really just left that episode off there. Maggie ain't dying. Hell no. I'm guessing she's going to go underneath the train where Davil went. Um, but it was so obvious. As soon as you saw Negan climb up, Maggie climbing up. Why would he save her? It just makes no sense for him to pull her up. The thing is, next time Maggie does see Negan, I don't see why she wouldn't just kill him. Right off the bat. How is that going to work? Unless we don't see Maggie for a while. I guess Gage and Roya did. They took off with all the ammo and stuff. Big move, but yeah. The Commonwealth. I enjoyed the scenes at the Commonwealth. So there was a lot of questions being given to Ezekiel, Princess, Yumiko and Eugene. Of course, the Commonwealth is such a big community. They take extra precautions. Like they're going to be as safe as possible. That's why there's all these levels and yeah. A lot of questions, including what you wipe your ass with. But I really did like the interactions between the characters, especially Ezekiel and Mercer, since we didn't get to see that. So seeing it in the show, that's pretty damn cool. And Mercer, that casting is perfect. I say that a lot about the show, but it really does feel like you've just got him from the comic, thrown him into the TV show. There you are. Identical. And his orange suit and stuff too. Very intimidating. So I'm looking forward to seeing more of him. And we had some interaction between him and Princess. Maybe we'll see more of that, who knows. All the Commonwealth stuff in this episode, it was good. Um, I didn't expect to see a lot of it right away. It's going to take a while. Yeah, I was wondering what was going to happen once they do escape, though. Like, how are they going to get back there? Will there be guards sent after them? But Yumiko has noticed a message for her from a sibling. So she wants to stay now. That's a remix from a, another character in the comic. I don't believe she... I don't remember her mentioning anyone. Um... But yeah, I could be wrong about that. It's been a while since I've actually rewatched The Walking Dead. Later seasons, that is. So yeah, that was a pretty good start to the season. I enjoyed it. Not like much happened. Just, you know, they're going to start building a lot of things. So when it gets towards the end of this season, I guess, yeah, it's going to be absolutely nuts. So yeah, that was my reaction to season 11, episode one of The Walking Dead. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, cheers for watching.